Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing, and things one is better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I have no regrets. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightful easy. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. It's done. Oh. I will never forget. Three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers. Just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. <laughs> Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. <sighs> Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman. Here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep! of useless strays. But not you, Primrose. You are the only one I can rely on. You flatter me, Master. Oh, hardly. Why, this tavern's custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groomed you for this role. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know.
What happened to your sweet little smile? Who puts a roof over your head and food on your plate? Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? Who made you the most sought-after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me! Oh, me! You owe me, kitten. And I'll see that debt paid. Yes, master. Good, then. Purr sweetly. And I may give you a treat. Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Remrose, it's your cue. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitten. Yes, master. <laughs>